All right, all right, all right. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but not as late as this guy. It's taken two years for Sam Gallagher to return to Blabber Rovers, and we'll talk all about it next. Right, folks, back once again with another video. This time we're taking a look at Sam Gallagher's Rovers return. That's right, back in the blue and white halves on a permanent deal. And we'll talk about that and more in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Black and Rovers related, championship related, world football related. We're going to all here under one roof. Now, obviously, it's been like nearly two days uh, since he signed on the dotted line. Where was I? Well, I was a little bit, a little bit too tipsy to press record, so I thought I'd wait out until. Till, uh, till the weekend went over and uh, I could compose my thoughts a little bit and, and, and give you what I thought about this deal. But uh, yeah, first and foremost, we've been here before, folks. We have been here for, not only has Sam Gallagher been here before, but we've signed Southampton strikers on a, on a permanent deal. This will be the fourth time since the Premier League started that we've signed a, a striker from Southampton. And only one has really worked out pretty well. Uh, and we're going to take a look at those right here, right now. First and foremost, obviously, it was it is the great Alan Shearer. That's right. He was, uh, first and foremost, a Southampton player. Then he'd done the old blue and white halves. And the rest was history, folks. Um, after that, we did sign this fella, Kevin Davies. Yeah, that didn't really pan out for us, did it? Obviously, he did go into bigger... Well, no, I would say bigger and better things, but better things. Um, obviously, playing for Bolton. Eventually, getting through to the England squad as well. Um, so, yeah, his time in the blue and white halves was not the greatest. After him, it was another one. Uh, Egil Ostenstadt, Norwegian striker. A little bit more uh, uh, beneficial for us, but ultimately a bit of a flop, an expensive flop as well. Seven million at the time. And then wrapping it up right here, right now. Sam Gallagher obviously has been in the blue and white shirts before on a loan deal, but uh, now he's ours for keeps. Just like Adam Armstrong, picking up some good forward players along the way. And, and, and just before we d dig deeper into the transfer itself, uh, let's take a look at the stats of those uh, four strikers before. Obviously, Alan Shearer did play for Southampton. Uh, he played, played actually impressive 118 games for Sa the Saints, uh, scoring 23 goals along the way. That's 0 0.19 goals a match. Uh, as for Rovers, though, his time at Rovers show, 138 games, 112 goals, 0 0.81 goals a match. Not too shabby, boys and girls. Kevin Davis, though, on the flip side, 25 games for Southampton, 9 goals, 0 0.36 goals a game. However, his woeful, absolutely turd spell in Rovers' uh, jersey. 23 games, one goal, 0 0.04 goals a game. Uh, that number will come... Uh, we'll, we'll see that number again in just a second. Uh, as Egil Ostenstadt comes in, uh, he played 98 games for South Africa, 29 goals, 0 0.29 goals a game. He also played for Rovers and scored, uh, played 62 games, scoring 19 goals, uh, sorry, 12 goals, 0 0.19 goals a match. And there he is, Sam Gallagher, 22 games for Southampton, just the one goal in the Premier League, 0 0.04 games, uh, 0 0.04 for goals like match, so very low, just like Davies at Rovers. But he has played uh, 43 games for Rovers, scoring 11 goals, 0.25 uh, goals per match. But he got that statistic right there and then with this team. This is the 2016-2017 Blackburn Rovers squad. Obviously, not the greatest team in the world because we got relegated with this Um of the boys remaining in this squad, we still have Derek Williams knocking on the door. Charlie Mulgrew is there as well. Who else? Uh, Ryan EMB. Scotty Wharton is also in there. As for your yeah, defenders, uh, oh, slash Darrell. This is when Darrell Annan was, was considered a mi uh, midfielder. Um, Curry, Curry Evans is still there. And of course, uh, Elliot Bennett, fist pumping extraordinaire. And Big DG up top. So there are still a huge core of, of that team that still remains. Obviously, we've brought in some players. A lot of that Deadwood has been shifted off the Feenies, the Agpens, the Guthries and the Elliot Wards and even uh, Anthony Stokes as well. Now this was the team that was managed by the mongoloid that is Owen Coyle. He got us into the shit situation and the gaffer uh, tried to turn it around but unfortunately it was too little too late and we got relegated. So yes, this was the squad that got relegated with uh, Sam Gallagher but, uh, up top alongside Big DG's work. Scoring 11 goals in this campaign as well. Remember that. Now, obviously, since then, he's gone on to a couple of other loan spells, but ultimately, it's not really worked out for him. Um, but he found... If, he did feel... Part of the part of the puzzle or part of the master plan here, but he just you know we couldn't afford it. Obviously, we went down to League One. There was no way, no how he was going to come over to to swap being on a Premier League books back down to League One. So obviously, a couple of years have, have passed. He's gone on to Birmingham. Um, did he go have another loan spell in there? I'm, I'm not too sure. But ultimately, we've we've been always forever linked um, with with Gallagher. And it, it actually. 
it's a good point to because I, I was when I when I first re tried to br uh, build this video together, um, I didn't realize that uh, that uh, Mowbray and, and Gallagher worked together and under this Rovers spell because I, I just completely you know this season as, as shitty as it was, I completely forgot about their sort of relationship in this. So um, yeah, yeah. So so Mowbray did take on these boys a lot of Deadwood in there as well, a lot of crap. Um, which has gone on uh, to bigger, better things. But the call remains, and Gallagher will come back to join Big DG. And hopefully, you know, um, when you look at the grand, grand master plan, we do have a very huge uh, attacking option now. And there's a very good British option as well, which is which is nice to see. We have big bad boy Brereton. We have big DG. Uh, we have Dominic Samuel coming back. We have we have Chappers who can play out wide. Um, who else have we have got? Joe Nuttall knocking on the door. Yeah, you know, we've got, we, we, this, this, is, this is an area that we, obviously, the arrival of Sam Gallagher has strengthened hugely, I believe, because I be, like this time last season, every club I was talking to um, to become guests on the show for the for the match previews and all that, they were all saying that they need a striker. Everybody needs a striker. They're like rocking horse shit. They can't, you can't find a decent one anymore. And we've picked up one here with Sam Gallagher. We did uh, push the boat out as well last time out with bad, Big Bad Boy Brereton as well. So uh, we have two very good young strikers that could lead the line for Rovers for a good few seasons. But anyway, that's just a little bit what I think about this transfer. What else has been going on on social media? Well, a lot of there's a lot of positive comment, comments out there. Jack Easton went out, out uh, on Twitter and said, Great bit of business. Managed 12 goals in a season with arguably the shittest side we've ever had. Can't wait to see what he can do with Dak Rothwell behind him. Huge point that is. The longest ever transfer in history, but it's finally done. Welcome back, big man. Elaine Rover, 06. Welcome back, Sam. It's great to have you now permanently at Rovers. Uh, Toby put this little... Um, picture on there he's put our, our location in there and the playoffs because we're playoff bound now with big sam up top uh finley mckenna has said welcome back sam paul rogers happy with that hope you fulfill your obvious potential uh meanwhile jv 72 regardless of the supposed fee i'm very happy he's back very promising young lad right attitude ready to settle in bring it on luke thornley said welcome back sam can't wait to see you back in the blue and white halves scoring goals against best of luck in your tenure here talus john aka a Terence Tales. Welcome back. Take us to the Premier League, Sam. Sammy B also said, "Good luck, Gallagher. I hope you do well for yourself and develop well at Blackburn." He might not necessarily, from the way from the way that sounded, it didn't sound like he was a, a Rovers fan. And from his Twitter handle, it looks like he's a Southampton fan. But uh, obviously, wishing his his uh, academy player well on his new journey. Welcome to the Blues, Sam. Exciting times ahead. That's from Ray. Ray D. SD, a.k.a. Captain Crapshot. You've got a little gem there, Rovers. Again, sounds like a Southampton supporter. Simon BRFC Hopkins. Yet again, Mowbray with yet another top bit of business. This guy has so much potential, especially with the players you have around him. Five minutes for a 23-year-old striker with the potential that he has is just class. Tony Mowbray, love hearts. Uh, welcome back, Sam, lad. Dave Aspin, big fan of you, Dave Aspin. You're my main man. Uh, welcome back to the, welcome back, Sam Gallagher. We missed you. It's going to be epic seeing you link up with Dak, Graham, Travis, Roth. Well, Johnson, Brereton, Nuttall, Samuel, Armstrong, Butterworth, Downing, Chappers, Adam. I don't know why he stuck that in there because that's 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 not a done deal, I don't think. Uh, Evans and Davenport. Meanwhile, Becky FC said, finally, welcome back, Sam. Uh, Bradley White posted this picture of Kardashian. He is, here he is, and he's perfect. He is perfect indeed. And Michael, 5002237, said, welcome back, Sam. Yes, and James Robinson. It is it is a, an unbelievable bit of business strikers wise attacking wise but for me i'm going to give you the 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 downer on the the debbie downer right now to be honest with you i think if we headed into the season without sam gallagher i think our strike force would have been okay i think we would have been we would have been we wouldn't have had much trouble scoring goals i think we've never had trouble scoring goals and we've added a little bit more experience in midfield downing is going to pro provide some more width and all that so i don't think this transfer necessarily needed to be to happen but to be honest with you, it is it is a cracking bit of business, especially at this level, picking up this guy, and we know him we know him well. But I think our priorities need to be readjusted a little bit. We still, you know, uh, we've picked up uh, we've picked up the utility man. We've picked up the big boss man midfielder in in Bradley Johnson. Uh, defenders for me have been paramount for a few years now, and I don't know what's going on with that. Obviously, we've now picked up the attacker, which is something that I mentioned earlier that in another video that we needed. Um, and but goalkeeper should be top priority right now. I think right now, if we walked out start the season tomorrow with the goalkeepers that we have on the books, I think we'll be in a lot of trouble um so and and the talk about goalkeepers 
you know, Mowbray apparently seems confident that something's going to happen. But for me, I just don't know whether it's going to happen. And if, and if something happens this week, next week, uh, that we pull a rabbit out of the hat and it is a, an experienced keeper, maybe around about 28 to 32 years old, that's been there and done it a little bit, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. But right now, I'm a little bit concerned that we'll be starting the season with the mountain in between the sticks. And then obviously the transfer window will be done and dusted and we'll be in a bit of bother. So I'd like to see now that we've got those, you know, the wingman or the utility man, big boss man and the attacker sorted. I'd like to see a defender, one or two of them if possible, and a goalkeeper coming through the doors um, in the next week to 10 days. That would be absolutely. Then I would be, I'll be happy as a pig in poop because I think we'd have, we'd have, we'd have checked all the boxes. We've, we would have um, we've sorted things out a little bit. Obviously there's still some, some, uh, Business uh, players going out of the club uh, in the next few days as well. You know, what's going on with Jack Rodwell still deliberating and, and, and still with us at the moment, kind of on a rolling thing. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But ultimately, um, I think business has been good. You know, spending five million on on Sam Gallagher. Obviously, I think it's three million plus add-ons, perhaps, and then bringing in uh, a couple of other experienced players as well to to add to the to the Rovers uh, squad. I think we've done okay, but. I don't think the priorities have been taken care of, and that is a goalkeeper and some defenders. So hopefully that will happen um, very, very soon. Okay, folks, now before I wrap up, I just want a bit of administration for you folks. Now, I am on the lookout for, for both championship club rival supporters, but I'm also on the lookout for Blackburn Rovers supporters. I'm trying to have a, uh, an individual supporter for each and every one of the games coming into the new season. I have four or five confirmed who have booked their matches on there. There are five or six out there still deliberating about it and trying to figure out what they want. But I'm still looking out for some many, many more fans. So if you are interested in helping out, coming on board onto the channel and, and, and giving your opinion on certain matches, start 11s, uh, score predictions, all that kind of good stuff. Nothing complicated. Very simple stuff. A 10 minutes of your time during in each and every one of the old match days. Obviously, if you would step forward, you would only, you know, I'm not going to try and take up your whole life. It just, must just be for one match. Unless you want more, then you'll let me know. Say, hey, I, I like that. Could we do it again? Um, and I'll, I'll be well open to that. So if you are interested, get in touch with me, whether it is in the comment section down below or follow me at Rover Seas on Twitter. You can DM me that way. Also, I want to let you know that I'll be going live uh, throughout the month of September onwards and predicting the Champions League, the Premier League, and of course the Championship, boys and girls, even Rovers games. I hate predicting Rovers games, but I'm going to to do it anyway you're doing that live um, obviously before this before uh, september in the month of august they'll be pre-recorded because i've got lots lot of stuff going on in august and i can't commit to to live dates so they'll, they'll start in august but they'll be live from september so make sure you stick around for that one also in the month of september i'll be doing live match reactions uh for blackburn rovers games from september onwards uh they'll only be on saturdays or weekends because i can't do the weekend the weekday ones um because i'll be at work um so, yeah, so come join me for those. Uh, links to me on Twitch is in the old description down below. I also want to let you know that I've also got a Fantasy Football League, uh, Premier League, kicking off in uh, August. Uh, so make sure you get involved with that bad boy. I might stick a link for that in the old uh, description below as well. There's free monthly, free to enter, monthly prizes, grand prize at the end. Um, I'm talking, I'm talking bucks of some value. You know, I'm not, I'm not made of money, but you know, it's coming out of my pocket um, to you guys. Um, you know, with like $10, 10, $10, 10 pound um, monthly gift card for something, or then a hundred dollar, hundred pound gift card for the grand prize at the end. It's, it's, you know, if you if you play fantasy, might as well register it as well. We'll do weekly update videos. We'll mention you know see whose team's done the best, see who's the star player, and all that kind of good stuff. Those will kick off in August as well. I actually got a video coming out about that probably tomorrow, the next day, to explain this in a bit more detail. But anyway, folks, that is all I have for you. So yes, big bad boy Sam Gallagher is a rover. He has returned to Ewa Park to score the goals that hopefully push us up the table and end up in the top ten, top eight, top six, and who knows. Maybe back into the Premier League. That would be absolutely balmy. Um, yeah, and it, it's, it's quality. It's a quality signing. It's not one of those hobokey signings that probably won't work out. He's been here in the Championship. He's had experience with it. He scored some goals for Birmingham. Obviously, Birmingham, not the greatest uh, example of a, of a club. Obviously, you know, their, their, kind of, their standard of football, was, it was, I don't think, suited uh, uh, um, Sam Gallagher. But now we have him. We have Brereton. We have options up front, folks. Obviously, DG was playing games out of his backside last season. He's an old fella. He's been around a bit. So now we have three decent striking options. And then we have some other alternatives as well with Nuttall and Dominic Samuel when he comes back as well. So we, we do have a good core of attacking boys to hopefully 
fire us up in the league. And competition, you know, breeds confidence, you know. Uh, and so, you know, if, if, if Brereton kicks off the season, scores a couple of goals, you know what? He's going to say, hang back, buddies. This star striker spot is mine. You know, he's going to he's gonna be hungry, thirsty for goals. And hopefully Gallagher will be too. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you do, smash the subscribe. New videos every single day. And hopefully the next time you see me in a Rovers sort of uh, related video, it will be the signing of a goalkeeper or a defender and all that. And uh, yeah, I haven't done the video on the David Raya departure because I'm waiting for the arrival. The array, hopefully it's not going to be too long because then I can compare whoever we brought in with what we've lost and see if it's uh, if it's an upgrade or a downgrade and all that. Hopefully it's a flipping upgrade. Anyway, tell us you all again. Thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.